In the previous video, I explained how to draft an asymmetrical neckline pattern. In this video, we'll be using that pattern to create a beautiful top with this quite unique sleeve. Hello, you're welcome to Kema Freak. My name is Kemi Omorube. I share sewing tutorials, fashion business talks, DIYs, and vlogs on this channel. Please subscribe if you are new and a massive welcome back to our returning subscribers. Here are the pattern pieces gotten from the previous tutorial and I realized we didn't cut out the facing for this piece in that tutorial so I'll just be doing that here. First I need to tape these patterns along the top back together so that I can mark out the measurement for my facing. I'll be marking 3.5 inches from the neckline and just connecting all the dots to create the facing for the front piece. Now I have the pattern for the front facing. Now I'll be creating the back facing using a similar method. Once again, I'll be taping my pattern for the back together. Okay, you know that you have to create two separate pieces for the back, right? Because the two sides of the neckline are very different. So I taped. Okay, for this for this one, I don't really need the other side, so there's no need for taping because the shoulder doesn't extend into the other panel. So we have the facing for one of the sides, while this other one, um, the neckline extends into the dart, so I need to tape it together. And I just completely ignored that dart because we we'll just have little excess fabric that won't make so much difference on the inside. So I am cutting out the facing for the other side of the back piece here. So here are the facing we'll be using to cut out the fabric. Now for our pieces, this is my pattern transferred to fabric for the back. I have one inch size seam allowance, half an inch along the dart line and armhole. Then there's no allowance at the zip side, of course. I have a one inch hemming allowance at the bottom for each of the panel. The same thing applies to the front piece but i realized i didn't even film that part so just like the back we have one inch at the side one inch at the hem then half an inch along the dart the neckline and the armhole so this is our front piece we'll be starting the sewing process by sewing the panels together by half an inch make sure that the notch at the waistline and the bust align with each other i like to create notch when i'm cutting out my fabric because that way it just means that i will have a perfect seam okay this i have you go ahead to notch and probably overlook the seam line especially if you are not making use of a lining okay i didn't use a lining for this so you can as well cut out lining to cover up images of a facing like you saw earlier on so I haven't done that for the front and back piece i'll be sewing the facing along the neckline and i'm just placing the facing on the main piece here right side facing each other and we are sewing close this neckline by half an inch after i am done i'll be top, top stitching on the facing the way we usually do on this channel so i am doing the same thing for the back piece sewing by half an inch seam allowance notching and top stitching on the facing just to give it a clean finishing right there so here is the work done on this so far this is the back pattern the wrong side and we have the right side right here i went ahead to press this piece properly you know the way we do it in here Pressing just gives your work a clean look, right? So this is what we have on the inside of the front piece. And this is what I have on the outside 
of the front piece now i'll be joining the back and the front piece together along the shoulder remember that we have just one shoulder here so right side facing each other and i don't want a rough finishing so i'll be sandwiching the front piece between the front main fabric and the front facing along the shoulder so i'll be stitching the shoulder closed by half an inch seam allowance and that way you have a clean finishing on the inside and on the outside of the shoulder here is our sleeve pattern okay the basic sleeve pattern and we want to slash and spread this to give our sleeve some fullness so i'm just marking out lines on both sides of the sleeve and this is our off shoulder sleeve i showed how i created this sleeve from my basic sleeve in the previous video please go and check it out so i'm also drawing slash line on the off shoulder sleeve as well so we are making an exaggerated sleeve that will have like a unique pleat details on it at the end of the day so i am slashing my slash lines and um, i'm not cutting through okay i'm just going to spread so that we have the same um um sleeve curve sorry the same sleeve curve but then the fullness will be on the other part of the sleeve so i'm spreading this uniformly i did this by one two inches thereabout and you need to stabilize it on another paper then go ahead to cut the exaggerated sleeve i did the same thing on both the regular sleeve and the off shoulder sleeve I will be transferring the sleeve pattern to fabric now and I'm adding half an inch seam allowance to the upper part and one inch side seam allowance and hemming allowance. I did the same thing for both sleeves. It's now time for me to create ruffles on this sleeve and I'll be doing that along the sleeve curve. I have this piece of fabric that is 6 inches long. When you put it on fold, it is 3 inches and I know that I will need half an inch seam allowance, right? So I have 2.5 inches left. I'm making this calculation for a purpose, so please take note. So I will be pleating this piece into the sleeve curve this way i'm leaving the allowance free because i'm just going to sew it on the main piece i'm going to sew it on the main top and that will cover up that seam so before i go ahead to my sewing machine i'm just holding it down with plates and to be sure that i like what i am saying before sewing so that that way i won't have to rip it off again so you can work with the fullness you want for this plate and it does not have to be uniform you just pleat as the spirit leads really i think it looks better that way than for you to follow like a particular direction of pleat or particular measurement just make sure that the density is uniform along every part of the sleeve on the off shoulder sleeve right here i'm going to recreate this pleat along the sleeve curve and the armhole of the off shoulder okay and this is what my plate will look like i'll go ahead to sew this down with my sewing machine so this process is just for the first layer and we're going to change it for the next layers now talking about the next layers this fabric measures 5.5 inches on fold Okay, so I'll just fold it up like so, right side facing each other and go close up this side by half an inch so that we'll have 5 inches long fabric remaining. I also went ahead to close up the both sides of this strip or is it belt now I will call it. And that's because I don't want to sew on it and I won't be, I'll just leave one inch along the sides of the sleeve so that that side of the sleeve doesn't become bulky. We have already closed up the side so there's no need to worry and just go ahead and mark out your lines or your curves before you start sewing so that that way it looks uniform 
work with the density you want but i made mine just one inch thereabouts apart okay so after sewing each layer i went ahead to mark out another layer one inch apart and all that but you can definitely make it like two inches but i won't recommend more than two inches anyways so here i'm just marking out the place where i will be creating my plate now for this one you are going to be sewing along the middle and marking your plates it just makes the process easier and fuller than the first method and that way you don't have to worry about the edge of this belt let's call it belt okay so you don't have to worry about the edge and that's what i'm doing here just sewing it down and creating random plates at the center so because the seam line is on the other side it just doesn't show okay it doesn't show and you are creating your plates to align with the same line that's at the center of the at the center okay <laughs> Here we have our fluffy sleeve looking all good and fine. And once this process is done, you can go ahead and attach the sleeve to the armhole. So for the main sleeve, that's the sleeve with shoulder, <laughs> we're just going to be sewing around along the armhole curve by half an inch. And then I'll create a piping just to make that part clean. While for the off shoulder sleeve, you're going to sew for the front first covering it up with the facing on the inside as you're sandwiching the sleeve between the main fabric and the facing just to close up the same allowance and to have a neat finishing so then you go ahead and repeat the process for the back piece as well so this is what i have right here you can see that all our pieces are now together the next thing i'll be doing is to attach my zipper to this top then that i'll go ahead now put the right side of the front over the right side of the back piece so that we can sew close the side seam allowance i'm working with a one inch side seam allowance and i'll just be sewing it close and also hemming this piece and that will be all for this it's so easy so simple so sweet did i mention that i made use of a very very cheap fabric that's the popular doll face satin and this is just to show you that if you're using this for teaching purpose or you are creating it to practice it is okay to work with less expensive fabrics i can even put on this piece and people will just assume it's an expensive fabric right so this is what the finished look is so i hope you have enjoyed watching this thank you very much please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe bye see you in the next video